It's really a nice little form because it's got all the steps written out next to it. All right, so errors leak. So in all the other problems we had, uh, you've seen so far, um, most of them had a picture already. We're going to need to draw a picture on this one. Air is leaking out of an inflated balloon in the shape of a sphere at a rate of 230 cubic centimeters per minute. So here's, actually, no, I'm going to use a shape tool because I can. There's our balloon. Pretty balloon. Of course, the balloons need a string. All right, so uh, air is leaking out of the inflated balloon at a rate, uh, uh, in the shape of a sphere, at a rate of 230 pi cubic centimeters per minute. So out of our balloon is coming a bunch of air. And that is, now, is it positive or is it negative? Now think, is the balloon getting more full or less full? Well, if it's leaking out, it's going to be negative 230 pi uh, centimeters cubed per minute. So it's losing air. All right, so identify, so we've got our picture there drawn. And at the instant when the radius is 4 centimeters, what's the change in the radius of the balloon? All right, so R is going to be 4 centimeters in our problem. All right, so identify all the variables involved in the problem. We have the radius, which is going to be 4 centimeters once we plug it back in. Of course, that means that um, and what we're solving for, excuse me, what we're solving for is dr dt. That is an unknown quantity. We're dealing with volume. We do have dB dt. And that is negative 230 pi. Uh, centimeters cubed per minute. And that's all the variables we have. This is a sphere, after all. It's got a radius. Identify which, if any, of the variables in the problem remain constant. Right? That'll be important, because if we have something that remains constant, its derivative is 0. Right? Well, the volume is changing, and as the volume is changing, so are the radius. So there are none. So we can just put even an NA. Not applicable. Nothing is going to stay the same. I, de oh, I already did number th I, three. <laughs> I guess I'm too ahead of myself. Identify the rates at which that are given and the rate that you wish to find. So I'll just move this down. And so as you're taking notes, hopefully you wrote in pencil and you can just put it down here. Or just put an arrow. Write an equation, often a geometric formula or trigonometric equation, that relates all the variables in the problem for which the rate is given or for which a rate is to be determined. Substitute any value that represents a variable that is constant throughout the problem. It's important to keep in mind that you can have only one more variable than you have rates. You may have to make a substitution that relates one variable in terms of another. So that's like, a, that's like a, all of the information that we've learned so far in terms of uh, doing related rates problems. All right, so our equation here is the volume of a sphere. Volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, so uh, I am going to implicitly differentiate in box 4 rather than trying to squeeze it in box 5, way at the bottom there, All right, because I have this entire box with one little equation in it. So let's differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. So this is going to be 4 and 5 together. All right, so we have dv dt equals 4 thirds pi times 3 r squared dr dt. Let's simplify. So dv dt equals, that'll be 4 pi r squared dr dt. We're looking for dr dt, so let's, and first of all, let me scroll up the page. Still doing step, so five, four, uh, doing step five, uh, but in step four's box. All right, so now we need to isolate the dr dt. So that would be dv dt divided by four pi r squared is dr dt. And now let's just substitute the values, um, which is step number six. I guess I can do that one in step six. All right, so dv dt was nine. Oh wait. No, excuse me, 230. There was a problem it was 9, but it's not this one. 
<laughs> I think that was the problem for the cone. That was the rate, the value of a cone. Um, so 230, was it 30 pi? Now that I can no longer see the numbers. Yeah, negative 230 pi. So negative 230 pi. So obviously if the volume is decreasing, so is the, ra the radius going to be decreasing. Divided by 4 pi, and then I believe was the radius 5? 4. Well, you don't trust me. That's why I have to look up. Equals dr dt. All right, and let's write this in terms of pi. Actually, let's just make this a fraction, a reduced fraction. So this would be uh, negative 230 pi divided by, well, we can do some reducing here, 64 pi is dr dt. Let's just keep it as a fraction. Um, and this is going to be negative 115 divided by, so I, I can divide 230 by 2, and I can divide 64 by 2, d over 32. And this is centimeters per minute equals dr dt. And there we go. That's all there is to it. All right, so I'll, let's put our little answer thing right here. All right, so uh, we were finding the change in the radius. The uh, rate of change in the radius the instant the radius equals 4 centimeters is negative 115 over 32 centimeters per minute. And there we go. We've answered the question. So come back, in the, and in the next video, we'll do another problem. And I'm actually going to be using this form for a little while. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.